Shalom Israel, I'm going to give all praises and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Double honor to the apostles and elders of GMS. The salutations to your brothers out there pushing this word in truth and sincerity. And I'm, I want to get to a quick lesson on milk. I basically speak upon how we are the only ones that's grown or that's humans that still consume milk that comes from a cow after the period of infancy. You know, like when a pit bull give up puppies, well, give birth to the puppies, you know, it's a period of time that the pups have to be around the mother up until they get weaned off the milk. When a monkey give birth, the younger monkey's got to be around the mother just to consume the milk that comes from the monkey, you know? So animals give milk to their young, but we are human beings and we still consume milk that comes from a cow when we're not even cats. So I'm about to give you a quick like, demonstration on how to make your own milk from nuts and seeds, you know? from the earth, a way more healthier way to make milk, you know? So with that, let's get started. All right, man, so right here is the first ingredient, which is pumpkin seeds, which has a lot of nutrients in there, such as magnesium, manganese, copper, zinc, and protein. You know, it has a wide array of beneficial plant compounds, you know, known as phytosterols, which is like a free scavenger for free radicals, good for the heart, the liver, helps boost the um, immune system. You know, it's uh, very good for you. But uh, like one of the key things inside there is um, zinc, which is very good for the prostate. Um, the next one I got is hemp seeds right here. Now, if you know anything about hemp seeds, you know that it's a powerhouse. It's real packed up with protein, you know. And, um, you know, like hemp, um, it's uh, real rich in vitamin A, D, iron. Phosphorus, protein, potassium, vitamin E, and also fiber. And um, last but not least, I got sesame seeds, which is very high in uh, copper, manganese, calcium, iron, zinc, vitamin B1, selenium, and it's also anti-cancer. You know, um, it's uh, good for uh, digestion, healthy skin, helps uh, alleviate anemia. And it also protects your liver from alcohol damage, you know. But uh, these right here is like the main three three ingredients I'm going to use. Uh, pumpkin seeds, hemp seeds, and uh, sesame seed. And this right here is all organic. I'm not like going to make like a big uh, bulk of milk. But I'm just going to give you like a quick demonstration. Alright man, so with that, let's go to the third part of this video. Alright, so first we start off with the hemp seeds. Uh, this right here is a, uh, I forgot the exact size it is though. I'm actually I'm I'm gonna have to just do it off estimation, right? So that's like one row Move right here. Then I'm gonna go to to the sesame seeds. When you get the sesame seeds, it's best if you get it un unhold. It has more calcium in it. What about? Right here is the uh, pumpkin seeds. And it's pretty simple, man. It's pretty simple. Water over here. This right here is some nice artisan water right here. Artesian, have you say? I'm gonna grab the top to the ninja book. Once you plug it in, it basically turns everything to like an off white color. Next is going to be straining it. 
right here I got an actual strainer and right here I have an actual cheesecloth. The first thing I'm gonna do is wrap most of it up with the strainer. That's right there, white right there. It's white as milk. Stir it around to help, you know, speed up the process. Now all this stuff right here, you never throw this stuff away. This way it's still good. Me, I like to make a porridge sometimes, and it's real good as a filling for your, uh, the porridge, or if you like to make smoothies, you can add this right here to your smoothie, and there's still nutrients inside there. Probably look like oatmeal right now. So once you are done uh, shredding this right here, you're going to throw it inside the cheesecloth. This right here is a cheesecloth. This is like the ancient way of uh, straining it. And as you can still see that, that this metal strainer didn't really do a lot but it did a lot, but it's still stuff that's left over. That's what the cheesecloth is for. Give it like that smooth, liquidy consistency. Look right here, see that? That stuff that was left over from the strainer, it's still good. It's all good money right here, it's all good money. So with that right there, you can probably add this right here to this uh, water bottle. And you get yourself a nice sweetener. Me, I like using a uh, maple syrup or I might use the agave. I'm way past the honey. The honey is good too, but it's probably best to get the agave or the uh, maple syrup, which I have right here. Get the grade B of maple syrup. This way is the organic right here. If it came to the two, well, to one, I would probably use the maple syrup, but um, as far as the, um, Mineral content, I'd probably say the agave is better, but it's like kind of like both, you know. Because, like, when uh, agave might not have this, but the maple syrup might have this, or the agave might have this, but the maple syrup don't got it. So, it's like off the taste, I'd say maple syrup, but to, to feel like you're doing it more healthy, I'd say the agave. But right now, I'm about to do the maple syrup. Sweet enough a little bit Put on the top. Shake it up a little bit. They can taste test right here. It's a little nutty. But really it tastes good though. Most importantly it's good for your body. But on this right here was just something light that I just uh, like, you know, I 
decided to make. Um, whenever you make your milk fresh, you have to consume it within three days because it's a perishable item. So make sure that you run through it. Um, it's a meal replacement too. But I guarantee you, when you make yourself some, you are not going to waste it. You know, I want to like recommend it like for your milk for a cereal. The most of the cereals that we eat is straight contaminated. It's not good for you at all. So it's actually good for like a meal replacement. You know, you can drink it cold, drink it hot. But it's real good though, man. It's real good. So right here is what I call muscle milk right here. Hemp seeds, pumpkin seeds, and sesame seeds. And with that, I want to give all praises and glory to the owl by Shimmy Al Shah. Double honor to the apostles and elders of GMS. Salutations for you brothers out there pushing this world in super sincerity. So I want.